So again, we're just two days away from Christmas and you may be getting ready for a few days off of work to spend time at home with your closest loved ones. But as COVID-19 cases surge in Arizona, some of our health care workers will spend the holidays, unfortunately, still on the front lines. Whitney Clark shares a perspective this season. When you work in health care like Nicole Her, you almost expect that you'll have to work the holidays. But this one comes months into a deadly pandemic. I think we're all exhausted. We're tired, we're defeated. Nicole caught up with Arizona's family on her one day off before she goes back for six shifts in a row. She's a critical care nurse in the ICU here in the Valley. Now we're locked down again, so we can't have visitors come unless they're literally end of life. And I feel like every patient we have is end of life every day. Nicole usually gets to know her patients and their families. In 2020 though, those connections and visits can only be made through a screen. It's really hard to not be able to have them there because so many people, I think, get better for other people. And so when they hear nothing and familiar, you know, we, we sit and we put the computer up sometimes for hours and families will just talk. With her whole family in Minnesota, Nicole often picks up holidays because her boyfriend also works in her unit, but she's not used to being away from them all year. Her co-workers and everyone at the hospital often become family. You got a lot of joy out of coming back to the same patient and they were your family for the weekend. While Nicole predicts this weekend will include more tears, the bonds she creates with patients also keep her going. It, it fills our cup definitely when a patient will send something or will hear from somebody how they're doing. That's the holidays for me this year. In Phoenix, for Arizona's family, I'm Whitney Clark.